Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa Explains It All. You guys, it is day, what day is it? Of the coronavirus quarantine. Three, four, I don't know. I haven't left the house and I'm sitting here in my llama, my favorite bathrobe. It's like got llamas on it. Look how cute. And in the little thing, it says Fala Llama. <laughs> I can't. Anyways, um, so I am here and just dealing with this situation and I felt like maybe you know, with my husband working from home now, I'm working from home now, we're seeing each other all day, maybe I should not look like this. And so I thought, you know what, I better put together something, some kind of a quick, easy look for people who don't want to look like a troll um, for their significant other. So <laughs> I figured I better do that. Uh, so I need to fix what's happening here. Um, I'm just going to show you guys maybe a quick, like a little five minute makeup routine. This will be great for people not just stuck in quarantine because this will end at some point, uh, but also for busy working moms or just moms in general um, or anybody who just does not want to get up very early in the morning and do a whole routine and just wants like a five minute quick get out the door of things. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around and I'll be right back. All right, so today's routine, of course, is not gonna be like a full coverage look. This is just like a quick and dirty, like let's just get the, knock a little of the ugly off, as my dad used to say, and get out the door. So just enough to like, okay, I'm presentable in public now. I look a little cute, I look a little natural. It's a very natural look. Um, so I'm gonna go into the um, products that I'm gonna use first, and then I'll see if I can get it done in five minutes. It might be a little bit of a struggle <laughs> to get all this stuff, but um, I just wanted to do something with some very basic products that you know maybe you already have. So the first thing I'm gonna use is concealer. And if you don't have any kind of um, spots, dark circles, redness, hyperpigmentation or anything on your face and your skin's perfect, well, <laughs> glad for you. But the rest of us who are actually human have stuff that usually we wanna cover up. Um, so I'm gonna use the sharp, uh, Tarte Shape Tape today to just kind of cover up some of the little things that I don't want to show through. Um, and then to lay down like a nice little even um, kind of base I'm going to use the uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Um, this is like a powder foundation in the shade Y225 for me, but obviously, um, you know, whatever powder foundation you happen to use or like will work for you. Uh, I've also liked uh, the Kat Von D powder foundation, the Locket powder foundation. That's good stuff too. Um, but I've been playing around with this Makeup Forever stuff and I really like it. So I'm going to use that today to help me get um, this evened out. And then to kind of bring some life back to the skin, I'm actually using a drugstore product. Look at me being not so bougie. I'm using Physicians Formula, the uh, Mineral Glow Pearls. And this is, uh, I like this product. This is um, in the shade Champagne. And this is actually comparable to like a Max, um, MAC brand uh, mineralized skin finish. I have the shade Light Scapade and I use this all the time to help like make it look a little glowy and all over and just kind of, you know, dewy and not so flat. So I'm gonna just brush some of that on. And the other thing I'm using next is a blush. So I'm just gonna pull one out of my Tarte palette. I'm using the shade Amazed by Tarte, uh, but you can use any blush shade that works for you. I'm sure you already have one, but I'm also gonna just, um, I, it depends on if you have good brows or not. So I think I have decent brows. I don't really need a brow product per se, but a lot of us um, don't have great brows and do need a brow product. So I will probably just do a couple strokes with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, so I think you guys have seen me use this before and it's a very popular product. Um, so I will use that or attempt to if there's time. <laughs> and then um, one of my newest finds that I really love for just an eye, um, an eye look, and you can actually use this as a highlighter too if you wanted like a liquid highlight, is this um, Kaja Moon Crystal. Um, I don't know if this is an indie brand or, um, I don't know. I've seen this, I've found it at Sephora and it's called a sparkling eye pigment. And so it's, it's good stuff. I like it. It's like a really nice, like, um, cream shadow. So if you like uh, cream shadows, then this is a, this is a decent product. So I like this Kaja brand. And then I'm going to go in with, um, just the Tarte Maneater mascara, but you can use any mascara you want. And then a little lip product. Um, I've been really liking, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, I have a little mini one here that I've been going through. Just I wanted to try it out first before I bought the big one. Um, and then I've also been loving this Lip Retreat Oil from Wander Beauty. I think this one might also be an indie brand. I don't know. But this one is really um, pretty cool. And this is in the shade Skinny Dip. So I'm going to see if I can do this in five minutes. And this is going to be a struggle. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. So I'm going to get started. I've already um, cleansed my skin and I've prepped and everything. So I'm going to try to put a timer up here on the screen in a second and see if I can get this all synced up with my timer. I'll be moving quite quickly as I go through it. 
and I might not talk as much because I'm gonna have to like focus on what is I'm doing. So, all right. Okay, Google, set a timer for five minutes. All right, five minutes, and we're starting now. Okay, y'all, all right. So I'm gonna put a little bit underneath um, my eyes and on some of the red spots that I've got going on today. And I'm just going to blend that out with my fingers cause we only got five minutes and I want to got time for a brush or a beauty blender. So we're just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna kind of tap out the areas that have the acne on them so that I don't um, kind of like rub the product away. So I'm gonna do that. And then I've got to get hustling over to my powder foundation. And so of course I am using that really awesome Makeup Forever product. So, and I'm gonna use a brush with this. So I'm just gonna use a brush and dip into my powder foundation um, all over. I hope I'm not losing too much time. I'm consistently late in my life. Let me just say like time and I are not friends. I am always sort of like running behind and just do not know how to keep up with life. So it would not surprise me if like the five minutes is already over now. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to try to get this like buffed out and a little bit, you know, like I said, put on in those areas that need a little extra. Um, just trying to get a little base on here. So, but hey, if you have good skin, you probably don't even need this. I mean, you may not need all this, but, or it might not need to go in so heavy with it, but I just have the worst skin ever, so I did. All right, so now I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Pearls and just go around and give it a nice little glow to kind of bring it back to life, make my skin a little bit more glowy. And I'm also gonna use this to highlight as well, but first I'm gonna go in with my blush. So I'm just gonna brush on some blush, if you will, just a little bit to the cheeks to add like a cute little you know, a little color here. So I'll get a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go back in and highlight just my cheekbones with this um, Physician's Formula Glow Pearls. And after that is highlighted, I am going to go back in with my brows. I'm just gonna comb them up and fill in a little of the missing spots. Are you there anywhere you feel like is missing? All right, brush out anything that doesn't look great. And then I'm gonna use my Kaja Moon Crystal. So I'm just gonna squirt out a little bit there onto the lids and the brow bone as well. And then, man, I don't think I'm gonna finish in time, y'all. I don't know. I'm just trying to do my lids here and the inner corner for a little shimmer and the brow bone. And then I will go on to mascara. And I have no idea how long I have left. This is super stressful, by the way. <sighs> All right, so after I've got my mascara on, I wanna check the time. Oh, I can't get to it. I can't see how much the timer is because I did it through Google. Sorry about that. Oh, Google's apologizing to me. It should. And then I'm going to go in with the lip. Okay. And then a spray, setting spray. To get it all like sort of not powdered. <laughs> to make your skin not look so powdery. Hmm. Okay. Did I finish in time? Oh, I still have a minute left, you guys. When I finished, when I tried this before, I actually practiced this in my bathroom and I took like, it was already five minutes and I still hadn't even done like eyes or lips. So I clearly was hustling today, but if you have more time, obviously you can do more. So, hey, I did it in four minutes, nice. All right, well anyways, um, this is what I kind of, you know, just wanted to do, like I said, just like a really simple look. And if you have a little more time, another minute, then obviously take your time, really start, you know, blending it out. Um, you can add more, you know, 
do more tweaks or whatever. You could add more blush. You could even really go in and bronze a little bit if you wanted to. But like I said, I just wanted to get a basic look on um, that I could wear kind of every day and look a little cute without going like too far overboard and, you know, just giving a few minutes to looking kind of decent. So, um, all right. Well, I'm going to turn my timer off because I'm done. Hey. And then I also want to do something, a little bit of something with my hair because, you know, it's been like this for a while. I cannot find the top to this lipstick. I was in such a hurry that I think I yeeted it across the room. It was on the floor. <laughs> um, I just want to show you guys too if I can get any of this um, like Wander Beauty Oil out. I actually can get some out. I wanted to try to show you what that looks like too. Um, it's like this really pretty, I don't know, like this gloss that goes on top. I like it. It's like a, it's a, like a peachy kind of pinky nude sort of color, but really any light gloss or like lipstick will work. So, all right. Now back to hair. So obviously, you know, I'm not washing my hair and styling it a whole lot. So we're going to use the dry shampoo. <laughs> I like the Batiste brand. I'm to have the clean and light stuff here, but I do like the tropical um, bottle too. I don't know. I think I might've used all mine, but I have a tropical bottle that I really love and I forget the scent, but it's really nice. So Okay, so this is gonna be scary, but anyways, I want to show you guys just a really quick and easy hairstyle that I like to do for when I'm home and, you know, I can, you know, just not do this. So, all right, so first, obviously, dry shampoo. I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so brush that all through. And of course you could just do a ponytail, right? I mean, that's like what, you know, that's the go-to or a bun, messy bun. Um, but if you wanna look a little cute, like a little cuter than normal, uh, I would do something different. Is this kind of like a milkmaid braid sort of look? And this is kind of like a little, like a hack for doing it. And so I'm just gonna grab some hair from like the side and you don't have to be very precise with this, which is awesome. <laughs> so grab some hair from the side, about that much. I've got kind of, um, thin hair, just a lot of it. Then we braid, braid each side down. Once you're done, just um, secure it with a little uh, black hair tie or whatever, a little rubber band. All right, and then when you're looking a little bit like Coolio or Willie Nelson, Gen Zers, you won't get that. It's okay, don't worry about it. Then take these and just start um, trying to get some volume built out by pancaking the braids. And this just means to pull on the sides of the braid to kind of um, help get it some volume, break it up a little bit. And then I just take a little bit of the hairspray just to get those little flyaways to kind of stick down just a little bit. Um, and if you have layered hair like me, then you'll probably have some little pieces that like pop out like this, which is fine. You can always just kind of work around those. Um, but let's take and uh, flip the one braid over, take a bobby pin and secure it behind your ear. And then we're gonna take the second one, same thing. I just kind of like use my hand to like, you know, move any flyaways and then flip it over and then secure the second one behind your ear. And then you have a nice cute little Dutch um, kind of milk ma milkmaid sort of braid. And it's hard to see like on dark hair. I mean, dark hair is like the worst to try to demonstrate stuff on because it's so, you just can't see it very well. Um, and it's just like this cute little, um, I don't know, cute little braid. The other thing that I will sometimes do is take the front section. And sometimes I feel like it's best not to have your roots really showing because they're, you know, they can be kind of greasy if you haven't really washed them in a couple days if you've got second or third day hair or fourth day hair. Hmm. Um, so just to take the top section. So twist it a little a couple times and then take your bobby pins and just kind of uh, do like a little crisscross pattern with your hair here. So just kind of do that um, and then I will sweep the rest back um, and you can like, you know, pull out sections if you want it to be a little bit bigger of a little poof, however big you want your poof to be, the world is your oyster. And then I will pull back my uh, the rest of my hair into a ponytail or a bun using like one of these um, little like hair uh, tie scrunchies. And then you've kind of got like a little 50s look going on where you've got like your little hair poof and then, um, you know, just like the bow tie scrunchie. It can be kind of a 50s look and just kind of twirl the ends, flip those around, and then that can be, you know, sort of like a little look. Um, just something a little extra to your ponytail. So that's one thing. Um, and the other thing I like to do sometimes is just a braid, just a really simple braid. For the braid, just kind of sweep your hair to one side. And if you want to do a French braid, you can actually start up here and just braid it all the way down. Or uh, if you're not, you know, into the French braid or haven't done that in a while and um, maybe don't want to do that, 
just do a regular braid. So just kind of do like a little side braid. And alternatively, you could also do a fishtail braid. There are lots of tutorials out there about how to do that if you have a little more time, but I usually just kind of want to throw it up in something and go. And uh, I do use my little bow scrunchie here just to add a little something extra to the braid. All right, well, that is it. Uh, this situation is certainly better than it was, and I am happy you guys came along for the ride today uh, while I improved my uh, quarantine style. So let me know what you think below. Do you have makeup that you like to use for your five minute makeup routine or a quick hair routine, a quick hairstyle that works for you? Let me know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next time, and I am going to eat my quarantine snacks. See y'all. <laughs>